Yep. Schwinn S20 Carbon. So, um, <laughs> I first got into mountain biking in probably 98, 99, something like that. And uh, the, the first time I ever went mountain biking were at some trails that are locally here in uh, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake area called Ipswich. Um, pretty big deal, even now, uh, even more so now because of, you know, the, the, the jumps they have and the, the BMXers and stuff like that. But I had won from a Christmas party on my ship. I had won a, a mountain bike, uh, but zero suspension, full rigid frame. And, uh, I went with a couple buddies of mine and, uh, I was hooked and I mean I couldn't keep up I couldn't do anything you know the bike was horrible I think it was a I think it was called an iron horse I can't believe I just remembered that an iron horse anywho I went out to this place called HDK cycles uh, and uh, and I picked up a Schwinn Moab and I believe I paid 600 and something dollars for it uh, I don't think it was over 700 and it was new, wasn't used, a Schwinn Moab hardtail. And I loved it. You know, this was back when Schwinn was Schwinn. You know, any, the crap you buy at Wally World now, um, I think it's owned by Pacific or something, who owns a bunch of old uh, bike names like Mongoose and anywho. Uh, you know, these were actual Schwinn's, you know, when Schwinn quality meant something that might sound so silly today. Uh, but I mean, it was the real deal back then that Schwinn Moab, uh, I, I beat the piss out of it. You know, really, I really did. It, it wasn't the greatest bike, you know, but it was damn good for me as a beginner learning single track. Um, and then I, you know, a few years later, upgraded to my giant XTC2, which was was a was a good step up. It's still not the best, but expensive as fuck. So, I remember when another buddy of mine bought this, and you know, this is when I had my Schwinn Moab, and uh, I want to say this bike is in 1999, maybe I, I think. Something like that. And I remember the first time I saw this thing, you know, this is, I, it's one of the, the very first full suspension mountain bikes out there. First off, let's, let's mention that, um, carbon fiber. The bike is pretty freaking light. Um, everybody calls this design a sweet spot design for a full suspension. Now I've never ridden full suspension on a real trail so I can't speak to it I'm uh, just going off what people say but when I first saw this bike back in the day I was like man that thing is ugly <laughs> I was like that is just an ugly ugly bike um, but looking at it today 2014 it is not bad looking in my opinion uh, you know it's definitely you know, the older technology era, you know, all the way around. Uh, but, but damn, if it doesn't look pretty damn good right now. Um, he, he upgraded a lot of, of the components. It's got mostly XT, except for uh, the crank. Um, even the hubs. And I don't know what the bike came originally, but I do have the original handlebars with the Avids and uh, the LX. Uh, system shifters and stuff so he he has upgraded quite a bit on this bike it's still got the Judy shock and it's leaking I mean it's old but he is retiring from the Navy I have known him since the first year I was in the Navy 1995 we've been at a bunch of commands together um, really great guy and uh, he asked me if I wanted this bike 
And I said, heck yeah, you know, how much you want for it? And he was like, no, nah, man, I'm just going to give it to you. I'm moving back to Arizona. I don't want to deal with it. And I was like, oh, come on, dude. Why are you going to give me a bike? Because I, I think these bikes were, if I didn't mention it already in the video, I think these bikes were like sixteen to $1,800 when they were, were new back in the day. And back then, $1,999, $1,600, $1,800, I mean, that's, that's a lot of money. Um, so, and he's put a lot of money into it. The seat post, the seat, you know, the, the, the XT components all the way around. I was like, you know, what, what's, what gives, what's the deal? And the deal is, as with most of these, as I'm finding, and you can probably already guess, is that it has a crack right right where it, it 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 bolts right onto that so and it's aluminum <laughs> of course it is now i have a friend who can weld oh hey now we're in focus but he can't weld aluminum now i don't think you know like if i was to ride around the neighborhood with my daughter you know on her little little barbie bike i don't i don't think it'd be a big deal i think it would be just fine um but obviously if i went off something big you know that's that's no bueno no good now i still tried to offer him money for the bike i mean we're talking you know xtr and xt components you know xtr rear front derailleurs you know and hell i believe the I believe the gears are XTR as well. Um, you know, the box is in that bag. He's got a lot of parts on this. You know, a lot of parts that anybody, you know, even today might want to swap out onto, onto a bike of today. So, he still wouldn't take any money. Good guy. Really good guy. So, I am going to see what I can do. I would love to find somebody that can weld aluminum. Um, I don't think a lot of people are saying that this piece needs to be bigger. You know, where if it had cracked up here or something, I would completely agree. Uh, where the crack is, right at the right at the mating point here. Um, I mean, I don't think it needs to be a bigger piece. I think it just needs to be welded. Um, I think it just needs to be repaired. I'm gonna try and scrape this off. I don't even know what this is. I don't think it's JB Weld. Um, but I'll tell you, I'm, I'm going to try and JB weld it and go from there, see what we can do. Or, I mean, maybe if I can find this piece. These bikes are hard to hard to find. People are still asking, you know, six to $800 for these bikes used with the original uh, component, component group. Um, so it's not a cheap bike. But I figured I'd share. Um... I'm, I definitely want to ride this thing. Looking forward to it. Uh, and that's it. Figured I'd share. Peace.